Ladies and gentlemen of the Worcester community and beyond, please welcome to the Worcester Arts Fest stage, Ambiana Gavin. Ambiana Glavin, sorry. My spelling bad. Ambiana Glavin. That's when the crowd goes crazy. Come on. Crazy. Come on. Come on. sing little songs that I've written. Uh, that one was kind of new. I wrote it maybe a month ago. It was called Off Kilter. It was kind of an abridged version. But, um, and I was going to play now, I was going to play a song that I just wrote, and then I had a little bit of change of heart on the car ride here, and I think I'm going to play a song that I wrote at least two years ago, instead of like two months ago, or two weeks ago, because um, my... I, I'm in an independent study group at school, and we just released an album that's going to be soon out on all platforms. It's called Turbulence, and we're called The Pilot, so you should definitely look it up. And this next song is a song that's on that album, and I actually have the honor, it's a great honor to not sing it. I have a friend who's singing it while I play the piano on the album, so I thought I would play that song now, and I'll sing and I'll play the piano because I don't have my friend here. But yeah, this is Cinnamon Toast. Cinnamon toast held over kitchen tile. 
today. Um, this song is also on that album Turbulence by The Pilot, which will be up everywhere and you all should look it up. It's on Bandcamp right now, but it should be on all streaming platforms really soon. Um, this song I wrote back in February and I wrote it in a really dark spot and it was a really sad song, not sad, but dark and deep and not fun song for me. And then I ended up playing it a lot for a lot of people to promote this album and to make this album and I got a lot of really nice feedback on it and it made it a really positive experience to play this song. So I'm excited to play it for you all as my last song. This is Safety Net. So 
blue I've kept myself here for God And I'm a safety net for you I don't see your sunsets I'm not here for clues I've kept myself here spiraling I'm a safety net for you Ambiana Glavin. Yeah. A senior at U32, graduating. Graduation's on Friday. Graduation is this coming Friday. She will be graduating with my lovely daughter, Riley Odelia. So thank you, Ambiana. So more music is coming up in just a couple minutes. Stay right there. You're not going to want to miss Miss Julia Hewitt on the harp. If you can hear her chuckling in the background, you know that it's a real thing. It's real, see? We, we live from Julia's giggles. I see him. Yes, okay. All right, well you can see uh, we're, it's, uh, each one is its own unique individual here with sound. And uh, again, I just want to put a huge thanks out to Mr. Josh Niebling from MSR Sound. Can we give him some love there? Thanks. We also just want to continue to uh, mention our sponsors, uh, which all of these uh, amazing artists um, and performers that are here today are actually getting paid. A lot of these festivals that you go to, you need to pay for your spot. Well, at the Worcester Arts Fest, we, uh, we give them uh, an honorarium. Or if, if they're, they want to help to keep it going and they might not need it at this time, they can put it back towards the festival. And on that note, if you, uh, first and foremost, please buy art and music and books and poetry. Um, but if you have a little extra and you wanna help the Worcester Arts Fest continue probably a couple years from now, 
I don't think we're going to be doing it annually, but biannually um, sounds like a really good idea. Um, please visit the welcome tent out there, and uh, uh, David, David Book or somebody will be there um, if you uh, feel like giving towards future Worcester Arts Fest. Thanks. So thanks to Ben and Jerry's, Community Bank, National Life Group, Washington Electric Co-op, Wyndham Foundation, the Worcester Historical Society, and the Vermont Arts Council. <coughs> That's when you go crazy. Okay, I guess it's getting late. Crazy, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take that as crazy. So before me, behind me is the Highland Way. One of our committee members, beautiful Julia Hewitt, on the harp with the best giggle in the world. Uh, we also have Jerry Tobin on the fiddle. And we have Art Hammond on the flute. So Highland Way, um, Jerry's son, Bill, um, taught together at Cabot School with Julia and introduced her to the beautiful art of the harp and taught her how to play, was her instructor. So uh, now they like to play as much as they can. So please welcome to the Worcester Arts Stage, Highland Way. Yard, and it is a Shetland reel it's from the Shetland Islands, which are way up in the very north of Scotland. And I suspect this was the Vikings were the first people on the Shetland Islands. It gradually is now part of Scotland, but this reel is from the Shetland Islands. So enjoy. Words to the Sky Boat Song. Onward 
the sailors cry, carry the lad that's born to be king over the sea to sky. Loud the winds howl, loud the waves roar, thunder claps rent the air. Baffled or stores, starned by the shore, follow they will not dare. Though the waves leap, soft shall we sleep, ocean's a royal bed. Rocked in the deep, Florida will keep watch by your weary head. Many's the lad fought on that day, while the claymore could wield when the night came, silently de dead on Culloden's field. Burned at our homes, exiled in death, scattered the loyal men. Yet, at the sword cool of the sheath, Charlie will come again. Some of you may recognize this as the theme song for a rather popular television series.
This song is called Bonnie and Morn, and it's a traditional Scottish song. So our next piece is called The Parting Glass. It's a, an old tune that was written during the First World War when so many people were going off to serve and didn't come back. It was a, it was a very, very brutal and long war. So The Parting Glass was sung in pubs by the recruits who were then going to be heading out and they talk a little bit about their future and who might return and who may not return. I want to fly. Play with you and then I'll start singing. Them, so. uh, and I'll do both verses.
very old Scottish song is Ye Banks and Braes of Bonnie Doon. Power, and it was written by a blind Irish harper whose name was Turner O'Carla. A very beautiful piece. He traveled Ireland making his living as a want to drink minstrel.
Scottish tune, you may think you know it, uh, Old Anxiety, but a lot of people know the so-called Guy Lombardo version. <laughs> da, 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 da. Well, turns out Old Anxiety was written by Robbie Burns in the 1700s, and on the wall of his bedroom, he actually wrote the melody that he wanted that tune to be sung to. So, we're going to play one time through the Bar Robbie Burns melody that you probably don't know, but listen to it, and then I'll sing it, and I enjoy you to or invite you to sing along with me. You know the words, should old acquaintance be forgotten? It's the same words, but to a different tune. So we'll play the tune for you, and then I'll sing it two different verses, and please join me, okay, if you'd like to. Yep, and that's it. So, right.
some are 200 years old. Today someone saw me as I was leaving uh, Lancaster, New Hampshire, and he said, Oh, you're playing music. You're going to play any modern stuff? And I said, no. <laughs> Liz, it's Liz, all Liz, 100 to 200 years old. How about a hand for, for Highland Way, everybody? <laughs> Jerry Tobin, Art Hammond, and our very own Julia Hewitt. <laughs> So we are we are we're closing in closing in on this amazing day, and uh, it's been a, a just a wonderful show of uh, of community and of art and of music and poetry and uh, writing and just to thank you everybody for making this such an incredible day. But it's not over. We have uh, one of my many many years ago. Um, I, I I would always go to the Worcester Play Group. I would always go to the Play Group over in Romney. And I was the rock and roll dad. I was the I was the guy, you know. That the, these were in because Katie, Katie. I don't know why I Katie was doing what she was. She was doing something great. Um, but I, I, she usually when I would tour, she would watch the kids. And then when I came home, I, it was my job to hang with the kids. And I would go over to that play group, and it was so much fun. But they were my moms. All these moms, you know. I was like the I was the rock star in this group. That was like my thing. I, they. And then all of a sudden there was this guy there who started talking about radio airplay and started talking about press and, and, and touring. And I'm like, who is this guy? Well, it turns out his name is Chris Gruen and has become one of my dearest friends, huge fan of his music and his beautiful family. And his daughter is with us today, Jasmine Gruen, and she's going to be singing next. So uh, stay tuned. We're just going to get her amp set up. And uh, this is Jazzy right here. And uh, we're going to uh, have uh, Jasmine Gruen do a set of music. And then the Chad Hollister band is going to take the stage. And we're going to blow the roof off this 40 by 40. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But maybe a little bit. And it's going to be an amazing uh, closeout here to the Worcester, very first Worcester Arts Fest. So uh, thanks for being here. Please don't go anywhere. Jazzy um, is, is on her way singing her original songs. And then... Uh, my band will take the stage. We've got my drummer drove all the way from Connecticut. You see Tommy setting up his drums back there. Chris Peterman on the saxophone. Primo on the lead guitar. And JJ on the bass are all going to hop on this stage and uh, close it out. But first, Jasmine Gruen's coming up in a couple minutes. Stick around. Thank you. By art, by art, by art. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Yeah. little electricity in the mic. It's probably between the guitar and the Okay. Even though it's all on one circuit, so that's really hard. Not as bad now. It's just there's a lot of people I think I'm ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen of the Worcester Arts Fest, please welcome to our stage Jasmine Gruen. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here today. Um, this is a community that I grew up in, and I feel like I don't do enough performing here. So when Chad came to me with this opportunity, I was really, really excited and flattered. Um, and I'm so happy to be here with you all today. I am uh, kind of a budding musician. I'm, I've only played a couple live shows so far of my own music. I've been performing with my dad for since I was tiny. Um, but now I have my own EP out called Nothing Feels Right under the name June. So that's who I am today. I'm Junes on stage. Um, and I'm going to be playing six live songs, six original songs for you today. And this first one is the first song on my EP called Magazine. I found a picture in a magazine. She was leaning on the wall. She was looking kind of mean. I liked her short dress. I liked her Thank you. 
I'm a teenager. Most of the music I'm writing is about the teenage experience. I think this next song, more than most, um, yes. it's kind of just about how, I mean, particularly this these past two years, 16, 17, have felt um, kind of commentary on the culture that we young people are growing up in. So it's called 16. mostly when I was 14 years old, released when I was 16. It was a long process. Um, and like I said, Magazine, that first song I played was the opening track on the album. It was a completely a family project other than the engineer, Roger Staus, who welcomed us into his lovely studio, um, which unfortunately no longer exists. But this next song, I think became one of my favorite songs on the album. It's called I'm Bored. And it's a song that was written for that particular time, COVID, when we were all stuck inside. But I think it's still very relevant now as I'm moving in <laughs> to the next part of my life and just thinking about where I am and where I wanna be. And my uncle who you know, is not with me here today playing piano did amazing piano performance on that song and so it's a it's a unique one and I think that's why I love it so much I'm bored 
Um, so I finished my last day of high school yesterday. <laughs> and I, so yeah, obviously it was my senior year. And early into the year, college and what's next was a huge question for me and for all of my peers. And I, when these questions came at me from my parents, from my teachers, from my from my friends, all, all these conversations that we were having about our futures, I could just not stop thinking about how I still felt so young. And more so than ever, I felt like I needed just like a little bit of safety and support and my parents and love. And I just couldn't stop thinking about how bizarre it was that we're supposed to figure out who we are and what we want to do at 16, 17, 18 years old when we have a whole entire life ahead of us. And so I wrote this song called Ain't It Strange. This next one is my newest song. It's only been performed live once, and that was, <laughs> you know, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I set out with a goal at the very beginning of this year to write a political song. I wouldn't say my music isn't not political. I feel like there's a lot of commentary in it, but I wanted one that was just so blatantly, obviously political. I, <laughs> I'm very inspired by, like, the punk revolution. I take a lot of inspiration from that type of music and the way that they use their music to spread a message and spread awareness. And I did this whole year and a half long study in the independent learning program I was a part of at U32 <laughs> um, about music and activism and the relationship between that. And I think that after that study, I was just very, very, or during that study, technically, I was very, very inspired to become a musical activist myself. And this song is my attempt at that. That's you. 
us to chime in, take back our space in our own conversation. You're all right when you tell us that we just don't know what life is like. Now we never will. You're hearing this, right? You're hearing this. song. Thank you all for being a wonderful audience. Again, I was so happy I could be here and play for you all today. This last song is probably one of the most like personal songs I've ever written, and it was written for my parents, especially my dad, um, who is a huge inspiration to me as a musician, for me as a musician, because he himself is a musician, like Chad mentioned, um, Chris Gruen. He just put out an album, which I sing on so you guys should go check that out chris gruen in bloom um he's in england right now on tour for that album so he can't be here today but i think that this song is really resonating with me right now um, as i'm moving into the next part of my life away from the people and the home that i love and away from him and so this goes out to my dad <laughs> for Jasmine Gruen. I know that Aiden took some, but I took some videos for Dad, don't you worry. We'll send them, we'll send them over across the pond, so. 
Oh, wow, folks, what, a, what an amazing day. Um, I keep saying it over and over again, but uh, thanks for being here. My band is, uh, has traveled from all, all over the place. We're going to uh, hop on this stage and uh, do it as quickly as we can, and then we're going to bring you a, a set of rock and roll. Um, artists, um, you've been so amazing, and we want to thank you all for being here. Um, it's about to rock in this tent, and so if, uh, if some of you are, uh, I spoke to my beautiful wife, Katie, are interested in packing up, um, you're, you're welcome to do so, but we really encourage you um, to uh, hang out for the music that's about to come, because I wrote it all. And uh, as my mom says, uh, or as we say in Vermont, we ain't bad, okay? So uh, Chad Hollister, man, that's me, uh, coming up here to close out the very first Worcester Arts Festival. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please stick around. Thank you. By art, by art, by art. <laughs>